Okay, this is Lynn from the Stitch TV Show. Um, I just wanted to show you a really quick way to finish one of these postcards. I like to use a buttonhole stitch. You can use a zigzag stitch as well. But this is just a quick tip on how to do it. We've got a postcard class coming up, so we would love for you to take it and see how to make the front of the postcards. But I'm just going to show you how to finish one. This is comic book backer board, and I just stamp the postcard stamp on it. So what you want to do is you want to use an open toe foot, um, and then I use a um, buttonhole stitch. And a buttonhole stitch goes down, in, out, down, in, out. So I've got that set up. The other tip is if your machine allows you to do this, move your needle all the way over to this edge of this foot so that you can see exactly where the edge of the 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 thread is going to go and you'll notice that I put my card right up into that edge so it's going to go as I sew it's going to go off the edge really quick and then it'll go in and it'll keep moving forward okay so I'm going to continue that really quick and you want don't want to put your um, stitches too close together. You want the stitches to be a little bit apart because you are sewing through cardboard. Um, you don't have to sew through cardboard. You can This can all be fabric. I just find cardboard's easier for us to write on. So, all right. So, I'm going to continue and I'm going to show you how to do a corner. Now, remember, you have control over your machine. So, you can slow down. You don't have to go as quickly as I'm going. All right, so I'm getting close to the edge. Okay, so now I want to make sure that it jumps all the way to the edge. So I'm going to take this, and I know that that's on that corner, but I, I can see there's a little room to take it. So I'm going to take this stitch. Now, now I'm going to turn so that the next stitch will be down. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, so now I've taken that next stitch and it's gonna go in. And that's how I do a corner. I'll do another one really quick. Well, I have to do four for the whole postcard to be done. But you can see while I'm pushing this underneath it, it's really easy that the postcard just stays right on the inside edge of that open toe foot. I can see exactly where my thread's going. Okay. Now I'm going to go down. It's going to take a little bite in. So now I know it's on the edge, so I'm going to turn it. Two, two, down, in, out. There we go. Yay. And you can see finishing the edges of this doesn't take any amount of time. It's pretty quickly. You just let the machine do the work. It's going to pull it right through, no problem. Now, I am using, um, I am sewing through paper, so it will dull my needle, you know, um, a little bit more than if I were just sewing through fabric. So you may have to change your needle sooner than you wanted to. Now, this may want to go further, so I'm gonna go down, but I still can turn it whenever I want. Let's see? I'm gonna trim up this. You pro I don't think you can see this, but I'm just trimming up the edge of the, or the thread that was from when I first started. Okay, last corner coming up. Okay, so now you're gonna go down one more bite now it's right at that corner, so all I'm gonna do is pick up my, and you can see I'm moving my um, my foot press. I have a knee lift and I use that to lift it. You could use also, if you have a machine, you're gonna lift it there. In, out. There we go. 
and I'm just going to run over my first few stitches. You can see right there, I'm just going to run over those really quick. I may do a back stitch a couple of times, and then I'm done. Cut my thread. Okay, so that's how you sew the edge of your postcard. Um, and just pay attention to your corners. Now, if you want to know how to do the front, take the class. So be sure to like, share, and subscribe.